Hey, it's over. Have a productive day. So personal, personally productive. What's the inside of your refrigerator look like recently? Oh, Jesus. Silver. Really? Do you know how to cook? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So, oh, right. Kind of? I see. Alright, what do you know how to do? What can you prepare? That's okay, not being able to reproduce it is not uh, a shortcoming. Carbonara fried egg sandwiches. Okay. You gotta work on that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the greatest cook, right? But I'm, I'm just saying that your refrigerator, uh, allow me, uh, I'm sorry, allow me to restate. Your refrigerator should uh, reflect um, your cooking ability. So a carton of milk, yikes. Yeah, yes, that's a, yes, your refrigerator needs an incredible amount of help. Refrigerator first, cooking skills second. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I'm so distracted today. So you must spend, either A, you must not eat very often, or you eat a lot at work, or you eat a lot of junk food from, 
from Famima or 7-Eleven. I love the fact that you've identified, yes, cooking skills need help, but refrigerator also needs help. It, it's sort of a nice pairing, right? They're interlinked. All right. Um, this is not my favorite circuit. The Nuremberg Ring is... And it's up there with one of my least favorite circuits. It's so annoying. It's so freaking annoying. It's not fun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's not right. That time was not right. That time was not right. Watch this. I had me at as 10th, but I'm really 11th. See? See? Come on, game. Get your act together. You don't eat breakfast? Dude, it's like the most important meal of the day. You gotta have some. You gotta put something in your. But you eat lunch, man. You must be hungry by lunchtime. What time do you have lunch? Hold on. Before I make assumptions, what time do you eat lunch? You eat lunch at 4 p.m.? How do you even live? How do you even live? Oh, lunch at 12. Okay. Okay, okay. Whew. You had me worried. You had me worried. God, no one sends email. I think people stop sending email because I stopped replying to people. So I'm terrible at writing email. Everything's in bullet form. Or like, yes, no. I'm really terrible when it comes to writing uh, personal correspondence. correspondence. Ah, yeah, that sucks. Oh, I did it again. I didn't save before. I might get booted. I've made this mistake twice now. It's never good when this happens.
All right, things have settled down. I'm starting seventh now. That's great. If I could just... That's good. Those guys are fast up there. Oh, I'm still... I'm the last of the 159s. I'm really a two-minute guy. I'm not a 159. So we have 159.077 on pole. You, you, you go. Sits on pole in an AMG. Uh, we have two guys racing from the back. They don't count. Sin Goku, 32.11. Then we have Natural. I guess he's a binary number, 0101. With a 207. Oh, they're just, they're racing from the back. So a two minute and seven second lap time is, it's got to be intentional. I know they're faster than that. Uh, nothing was listed. Have I missed something? Yeah, I, okay, phew. Yeah, I, I found that weird also. This race isn't fun. not fun. There's nothing fun about this circuit at all. I absolutely hate this circuit. Nurburg ring is... And it's complex for the sake of complexity's sake. Runoff. That was complete and total chaos. So something happened, someone dropped out. My whole connect, not the, I don't know what dropped, but uh, oh my god. 
the wheel now has gone from feeling perfect one second uh, to being just loose as gravel. Jesus Christ. A slingshot. So now, all of my inputs are weird because the wheel is now behaving completely in a different manner. It's so loose. It was either my PS4 giving up the ghost. Oh my god, my arms are all the way across. I had to cross my arms to make that turn. Not sure. I'm gonna run a few races and wait for everyone else to turn out before we uh, make some solid decisions. But I do need to know uh, what your Jesus Christ. Uh, what your schedule is like today? Are you available for racing? I think everyone's suffering the same thing. Oh my god, behind this, whatever's going on, the wheel just keeps losing everything. Okay, great.
My god. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be tough on controller. It's not a fun circuit, man. I'm using a wheel, but the whole connection fell apart. And, uh, first part of the race, controller behaved properly, then something happened. There was like this blink, and then the wheel started misbehaving. Then, for a while there, it tightened up and started behaving properly. And then toward the end, bam, it dropped out again. But that's okay, because we moved the two positions, picked up a clean race, uh, the new one. It really comes down to the connection, because when I practice alone, no issue. The minute I get online, everything falls apart. Yes, 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 I'm in love with it. Good morning. It's it's the connection. I whenever it's a laggy lobby, everything just falls apart for me. I mean, every single thing falls apart. Ugh. All right. Who's available to uh for lobbies? I I can't put up with this much longer. Who's available for lobbies? Hands up. Alrighty. Roger that. Uh, this is the Japanese version, so the uh, the units are different. Very different units. I keep pushing the wrong freaking button. I'm gonna get this one. One whirl. Oh, slingshot's ready. All right, let me give this one or two tries, and uh, I will be right with you, sir. I'm going to assume those guys made it into the top ten. Garage beers, McCroat, fire. giving it one try, maybe two, and then I'm done. That's it. I want to try. Done. <laughs> Done. Done. I'm so frustrated with everything today. I wish there were a way I could test my, like, the USB port in my PS4, the internet that's coming out, like, what's happening 
on my network and what's happening with my USB ports on the PS4. But I know of no way to test these things, so I shall remain in the dark. So the question is, what are we going to run today? That is the question. Buy a car for content? What do you mean? I think I have everything. I, I think I pretty much have everything mine war. Uh, there might be one or two maybe smaller cars I don't have, but I purchased, I wouldn't spend everything just like about three weeks ago. Spent all my credits, purchased, uh, used up all my mileage points, and we're right back to where we started. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling evil. So it's the old battle between am I going to run commentary or participate. Now, I'd love to do both, but that's not possible. I love Yamagiwa. All right, tell me what, what do you consider evil, Slingshot? What circuits do you consider evil? And we won't run any of those. Yes, I think it was. Was it you, Slingshot? It was about you and maybe uh, who else was in on that? So I just spend it, spend it, buy it, buy it. Hold on. Oh, they're already evil. My settings are all are evil. Yes. Oh, it's the settings that are a problem. I thought it was a circuit. It tracks you don't care. It's just I'm more than his wicked, his wicked evil uh, settings. Yeah, they are. They are brutal, aren't they? We haven't run a Suzuka for a while, but that's hard. I mean, I'm evil. You know what? We haven't run. You know what? I think this might be it. Yep. Yep. Oh, got it. Looks like five kilometers a lap. So three will take us to 15, 16 and a bit. Four. Four. Mm, I think four is what we want to run there. That'll get us close to our normal uh, running time. I guess we'll stick with N500 with the, uh, I don't know how that's going to work out. Don't know how that's going to work out. I don't want to have a shortcut penalty turned on. I don't want actually have to turn any of this on. But, hey Lazaro. New chance to spin tomorrow. <laughs> Mine works like new chance to spin tomorrow. So the faster the cars, the greater the chance that people will become frustrated because the uh, the pungling uh, pers the what do, I, what do I want to say here? The possibility of major pungling increases as the speed of the vehicle increases. So we have to keep that in, in consideration, right? Along with lag and whatever evil things I do with the settings. So group three, Blue Moon Bay, great, right? There's plenty of room to screw up. Uh, we have boost turned on and people, you can chase each other down, right? But here, once you're, if anything goes wrong here, 
it's a hard deal. It's hard to catch up unless we boost on on strong. That's that's what we have to take into consideration. And group B is going to uh, require a lot more precision. So what we could do, all right, we can go group three. We'll have no tire wear, but we're going to crank fuel consumption up. <laughs> I, I think that's what you're talking about, right? Is, is it is it that kind of thing that uh, makes me bad, makes me evil? There, we'll save that. Okay, so we'll have, hey, yo, we'll have, uh, did you have a car picked for N500 or G3? G3, Jesus Christ. Group 3. All right, so we're going to go with, uh, I can't pronounce this. Everyone tries to teach me how to pronounce it every single time. I'm gonna call it just Al Sack. That's what it's, I don't care if it's wrong. That, oh, you had one for N500 all picked out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, all right, we can do, hey, hey you know what? Pfft. Watch this. Watch this. You know what we can do? Just go right down here, go to N500. We can turn off Bob, people can screw around with that. Uh, no. Right, we'll save it. Right there, Pff, power of the of the internet, power of computers done in 500. Sorted. Oh God, in 500 is dreadful. In <laughs> 500 is absolutely dreadful. Oh God, I'll go with the Corvette. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's so terrible. Jeez, oh. It's horrible, you guys. In 500, I, I, there's nothing here that I like. I'm gonna run a few laps in the vet. I don't know whose livery I'm running. I have no idea where, where I can pick up the livery. Oops. Oops, I guess I'm on the circuit. Uh, sort of. I've, I've cranked fuel consumption. Is I worth laughing? Yes. <laughs> yep. I love the sound of this. Look at the fuel, look at the fuel gauge. Look at it, look at it. I'm not gonna make it a lap. Let's see how far. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right. We might make a lap, you guys. So Silver, when you're home alone, which language do you think in? Words, or I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me, Silver. So when you're home alone, what mode is your brain in? A big merge of Japanese and English? Hilarious. Okay, so we can make a lap and a bit on a tank of gas. Oh 
Oh, you know what I should do? I should just make it 10 minutes. Instead of a fixed number of laps. Sorry, Slingshot. Sorry. I just thought of a really nice way to be evil. Sorry. I mean, it's boring. It's like, oh, they're going to be four laps and how many laps they're going to be so I can conserve my fuel appropriately. So was that a lap in a bit? All right. Changes incoming. For the better, depends on how you would define better. Sorry, 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 Slingshot. I'm gonna make some changes. We're changing the race type from Regular race to in endurance. I wish I could like just add one minute. Ten minutes. Let's uh let's make it evening. Why not? Nah, that was a nice time of day. We won't, we won't screw with that. Physical damage on. Okay, maybe I'll turn it down. No, no, nope, nope. Evil is as evil does. Not gonna be nice. Pfft, that wouldn't be me. All right, sorry, Slingshot. Would I like to count? <laughs> what do you mean, would I like to count? Sorry, Slingshot. Okay, I won't be touching anything else. We're done. We're done. That's it. Sorry, Slingshot. No. No, I do not want to count inventory. No, I did that enough. My uh, early college days. That's all right. Well, during the year that I attended. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, pushing all the wrong buttons. Hold on. Oof! There went slingshot. You to get a shot to get <laughs> Alonso you're gonna take a shot with each item that you count, right? Like one, take a shot, two, take a shot, one, take a shot. It's like wait, wait, what? That didn't help. 1.3. <laughs> End up dead, right? Yeah. Yep. This vet, the fuel consumption is probably terrible. Alright, so here we are. I know I'm gonna mispronounce it, I don't care. Alsac, that's what I'm calling it. And we're running the standard direction, we're not running it in reverse. Group three.
Alsace. A1 sauce. That's what I'm calling it. It's now A1 sauce. Done. A1 sauce. I don't care that's an L. I have I, I don't care. I don't care. It's, it's A1 sauce. A1 sauce village. I mean you wouldn't want to go there, right? All sauce. <laughs> okay, we, okay, you can go with all sauce. It's all sauce village. They have all the sauces. Welcome to A1 All Sauce Village. So all sauce is close. Excellent. So welcome to all sauce. All sauce village. We have all sauces all the time. Need a sauce? Come to all sauce village. Out of fuel, and there is no coasting to the finish line because that huge climb it's so far. First off, getting through here is going to take forever. It's a region, it's a region in France. France got from Germany as a world war to retribution. I see. Oh, 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 I've crashed. Not gonna last the entire 10 minutes on a tank of gas unless you have someone finds a car that's that just sips through a uh, coffee stir so I two that's four five, maybe six minutes I made it five minutes of that but 
pit lane is so short here. A. Hello, garage beers. Wow. That was unexpected. All right. Do for super soft again. Fuel up. Is there an electric car? That's a good question. That would that could be a solution. I think I offended some people with my poor pronunciation. They left. Oops. Ask me if I care. All right. Slingshot and I are waiting for a laser to turn up. I'm going to assume Garage Beer is, is no longer allowed to, uh, or is in a situation where he can no longer participate from the, uh, from underneath his desk via remote play. That should be one of your interview questions. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh, is there a space underneath my desk for me to curl up and, you know, maybe nap or remote play PS4 games? Also, is that allowed? And if they look at you funny, just walk out. It's like, never mind, don't want to work here. Uh, how much time do we get for, for uh, gaming? Is gaming during downtime encouraged? And if they ask that question is no, just walk right out. <laughs> I won't say that out loud. Hi, ferrets. I'm just saying that should be one of the first questions. Well, maybe not the first. Yeah, the first, because you don't want to waste time, right? Okay, it's first is um, medical and dental. If those two are yes, then the very next question should be, uh, remote play? If they say remote what? Remote play? I don't understand, sir. Okay, bye! And just walk out. Exactly. Exactly. You know what you could do? I wonder if you could like just pull apart, get an old PS4, or use PS4, pull it apart, and make it look like something else, something it isn't. Just shove all the innards into a, uh, a PC tower. <gasps> right? And they'll never know. Except for the fan. But you can work on the cool... Uh... You can work on the cooling and just like get the water cooled, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You know, I don't know details. To work with that uh, that howling muffin fan, just get a bunch of fans, some intense water cooling. And then you're golden, right? Raj Beers hasn't replied, so I'm assuming he's uh, measuring, checking for cases now, or looking for YouTube, how to get your PS4 into a PC case. Guaranteed that's what he's doing. You believe people have tried that with the PS4? You hate sending your car till you have to go into work. Got there a tad early. 
So you probably heard me, or maybe you didn't hear me murder the name of this circuit. Apparently it's as close as I can get is all sauce. Apparently it might be a real place. I triggered some folks. Sorry. I think if you have three monitors, and what kind of PC is uh, sitting on your desk? Is there any way you can like shove a, a PS4 in there? And do you have a door? I think that's again pretty much the same place. Okay, almost made it. Oh, almost made it. Yep, it's gonna be tight. People are gonna run out of fuel in the last lap for sure. Oh, cubicle life. Oh, that's the worst. So I, I recommend you uh, pull a Fortnite and just construct a wall. Right, like, what's the wall for? Nothing. And here we go, put, 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 out of fuel. I'm sure the, uh, the vet consumes a massive amount of fuel. Oh, what, what's annoying? Cubicle life? Ah. So, there's actually a second reason why we're doing this. I think, I think the next Tar Heel event, instead of having tire wear, they're going to go with uh, fuel consumption. That's why we're kind of doing it. I think that's the plan. Vegeta asked, and I think we had an okay from Tar Heel. So, fuel race possibly for the... for the, uh, the BMW VGT event. Garage gears, garbage gears, wow. Wait, what are you, what are you guys playing on the side? What's your side game? You guys got a side game you're playing? What? Oh, oh, I see, I'm just talking about your, uh... You're talking about the, uh, the challenge. I see. So you didn't actually land something something, but you... Got it, got it. Language. Slingshot. You can't join, and you're disappointed. Garage beers is also uh, on the outside looking in. All right. Good luck building that wall in your cubicle. Put little portal holes, little uh, holes they can slip messages through. Maybe an intercom.
a slingshot used to be outlaw. And if you're not finished with slingshot, make it happen. He should be oh you can't he should be on the list. On the uh, sector challenge list. You might be able to find him through that. Slingshot looks as if we had to wait for more people to turn up. Uh, 12 or maybe 15? 12 or 15? It's quite high. not on your list. I, I don't know. You can't see the lobby. Alright, so the trick is you might have to hit that um, the region button. Along with uh, show friends. Occasionally, you need to uh, hit that region button over on the left. Him to to make it, and we might we might turn our fuel consumption just a bit. It is rather aggressive. All right, I'll be nice. We'll go down to twelve. See if that helps any. Let's see how 
far this takes us. It says two laps. We'll see. of the race, but maybe four laps, if we get lucky. Shifting, maybe, or just being slow, probably just being slow. All right, climbing the hill. So I need to last close to 10 minutes, or as, po as close to 10 minutes as possible. That's the duration of the race. We might have a three-car race. That's all we can get in here uh, right now at this time of day. Some people are still asleep. There are those who are heading into work. Four minutes and 19 seconds. So this lap will take me over five. I'll have to fuel, and then I should make it. I should be able to make it to the end of the race. It's a bit better, right?
still sitting in pit lane exits. Let's see how he goes. Don't know what he's selected to drive here. Or he's elected to drive. Laps. Maybe about six minutes. And four minutes to the end of the race, or thereabouts. saying they do fuel all the way to the top. But we don't know how many laps. We actually don't know how many laps are remaining. Two? I have no idea. Better safe than sorry. race here, a three-car shootout between McCroat, Slingshot, and Laser. I'm going to go for a bio break first. I'm going to give Laser a little bit of time to uh, get his act together. McCroat probably has some more things lined up. So he's sneaking in for maybe one or two races, so we'll light this candle in just a moment. Finish the lap, and I will uh, go for a bio break. Gentlemen, we will begin immediately upon my return. get to uh, attempt your final fast flying lap while I'm off to the, uh, the boys room we'll focus on slingshot and I'll be right back
Your uh, livery reminds me of those uh, cookies. Can't remember the name of the cookies. Alrighty. So, gentlemen, I hope you are ready. Boost is on high. Good luck. I, I promise you nothing. Well, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to promise you a race. And I promise that it will probably be more exciting than you're expecting. And, uh, yeah. That's that. Are you ready? Everyone ready? This is a fuel enduro sprint race thing. I'm just going to assume that's a yes. All right. We are off. Nine seconds to the final begins. We will wait for the, uh, the countdown to reach zero, which it has done now. Then the screen goes black. I will hit the spectate button, and I only have to hit it once. So now it's going to do its thing, drops us in, and hopefully we will have a, a variety of shots we can uh, view camera angles if we spectate in that in that order race countdown to zero touch the it goes screen goes black touch the spectator hit the spectate button and then wait for the game to decide yes we do have camera views be beautiful all right so what we're going to do here we're not going to display that and here they come down to the start finish line. Beautiful shots recently by Gran Turismo Sport or in Gran Turismo Sport. All right. It down the inside goes slingshot. I believe that is laser in the vet. They quite pay attention to what everyone was driving. We have two Porsches. So we have American power versus German power, I believe. Slingshot is already made a move on laser. Oh no! Someone's already into the wall. That's McCroat finding the wall immediately. The flannel livery. There, there's a. There's some cookies that come in that flannel livery. That looks like flannel, right? I can't remember the name of the cookies though. All right, Slingshot is attempting to uh, fire himself down the circuit and away from these two as McCroat gets down the inside of Laser, makes the pass. But the question is. Of these, uh, between the Porsche and the, uh, the VET, which has the best fuel economy? Because it looks as if both Slingshot and Mikroad are just pushing as hard as they can. Is it the old strategy, run, run as fast as you can, pit, run as fast as you can? I, I don't know, but we'll see in a minute. Laser... What, maybe uh, a second behind? Nine tenths, or oh, we come to this hairpin. Breaking. Difficult to get that vet stopped and turned in, but Laser does a great job. The Croat, we know a Croat is fast, and he's attempting to run away, pushes that Porsche too hard. Finds himself onto the guard, into the grass and gravel. Losing just a bit of time to Slingshot. Allowing Slingshot to close the gap. As we, oh, McCrud finds the uh, the dip into the final turn, almost slams himself into the barrier, and now he finds he's embroiled in a battle between uh, uh, Slingshot. Up the hill they go to turn one. Slingshot pushing hard. Counter says lap two. Seven minutes and 35 seconds remaining. But we do not know the fuel situation for Mikroat, Slingshot, and Laser, our three warriors in the first race of the evening. Laser hanging back, being cautious, possibly. Mikroat still trying to run away. He only has a Possibly about a half a second lead over Slingshot. Slingshot loose on exit. And that one little bobble right there has McCroat uh, a second 
in which he's expanding on a tip to drag it out to two seconds, 1.7 seconds now. Lasers 1.7 seconds behind Slingshot and a full three, almost four seconds behind McCroat. As they go through this banked section, banked right-hander, it's sort of a banked crest. Flings you to a left-hander. Followed by a, a, a brain not working. Anyway, there's a hairpin, a left and then a right hand uh, hairpin. Cut up the hill, again sideways on exit, pushing that little Porsche to the limits. 1.7 seconds he has over slingshot, slingshot two seconds now over laser. But the question is, what's happening with the fuel on board of these three vehicles? Three different driving styles. And there goes Slingshot. Well, we have the answer to that question. Slingshot is onto pit lane. You know, it's really quick. Oh, no, he changes tires. He forgets to hit the button. That's going to cost him several seconds because we know the pit stop, even though the pit stop lane is short, refueling takes forever. And there is Laser cruising along. Do -do 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 -do. Just, you know, a nice Tuesday evening, Tuesday morning drive. McCroyd has something up his sleeve. He is now five seconds ahead of Laser. There are five minutes remaining. There's a 16 second gap between Laser and Slingshot, but boost is high. The question is, oh no, oh, ah, we witness Slingshot wrap the rear end around, smash into the barrier. Scratch up that livery. And he's still, now he's up, what, 19, 20 seconds behind Laser. Laser six seconds behind McCroat. A three car race, but we don't know when McCroat is gonna pit. He has to pit soon. We're at the four, four and a half minute mark. Six minutes, almost six minutes have elapsed. Surely, he's almost out of fuel the hairpin we climb up the hill oh we can definitely tell that he's uh, saving fuel it's a, it doesn't sound as if it's uh, growling through like second third and fourth gear more of a deep wall I'm in the wrong gear trying to make it to pit lane I'm gonna call it I'm gonna be brave and say he pits here at the four minute mark let's see if I'm correct and yes, I am. There he goes. He dives in the pits. Let's see if he makes the same mistake as, as Slingshot. He does not. He has a seven-second lead over Laser. Laser also has to pit. He was running on hards. Disaster for Laser. Why he opted for hards when there's only a high fuel consumption is beyond me. And that allows McCray to uh, peel away with the knowledge that... Uh, Laser's on hard. Sorry, I gave you away, Laser. Oopsies. Sorry. All right, Slingshot is only six seconds behind Laser now with three minutes remaining. That's a lap and a bit. It's probably two laps under these conditions. Will he have enough fuel to reach the end? Will he have to conserve? Laser out on a full tank. Three minutes remaining in that vet two laps maybe on fuel setting three or four he can run it to the end but I am not sure he is not closing the gap to McCroat eh, maybe nope it's between five eight six McCroat just pouring it pouring it on he holds the fastest lap of 158.177 he's through one of the uh, he's through the bank section that right-hander can throw you off into the gravel. You bump and crest, you turn immediately to the left. It shoots you out onto a very short straightaway. It leads you to a sharp left, braking, turning for the hairpin. Gets it stopped, turned in, runs a little wide. Swings out, clips that late apex possibly. Oh, he runs it wide. The rear end spins out again or slides out again. Laser 5.5 seconds behind. Up the hill. One minute and 58 seconds. There will be one more lap. 
slingshot five seconds behind up the hill. He dove into the pits a lap earlier, I think. So we can possibly predict that he will run out of fuel in the final lap. We'll see how it goes. Laser, five, 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 five. Seconds behind. McCrow at five point five, 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 five. That green and yellow um, Corvette. Four point now, four point nine seconds for slingshot now. Six seconds separate laser and McCrow at. Oh, oh. Let's let's take a listen to uh, the sound of that Porsche. Oh, someone is saving fuel, possibly, but it doesn't look as if the gap is shrieking between Laser and Microat. Maybe my ears deceive me, but for a fact, Slingshot is reeling in Laser. Only 2.5 seconds separate them. Ah, 2.7, here it is, 2.5. Slingshot can see Laser up ahead. That rumble of that Corvette. Seven seconds now separate McCroat and Laser. The question is, will McCroat run out of fuel right at the end? It looks as if he's got it covered. Laser holding on to almost a three-second lead over Slingshot. Slingshot not able to, uh, to take advantage of whatever uh, situation he had there. He does cut a half a second off his uh, his previous fastest lap. Oh, is he just getting it turned in? Yes, he is. Mikroat over the hill. He crest dives down. Two turns to go through the final left hander. Oh, he hits the the barrier. Man just keep the car facing forward. The crowd cheers. He comes across the line. Seven seconds ahead of Laser. Laser. 11, 12 seconds. Oh, it looks as if, oh, uh, as I predicted, it looks as if Slingshot has run out of fuel right at the end. Disaster strikes for Slingshot. Still, the crowd shows their appreciation with the applause. There he goes across the line, cheering him on. victory for our favorite Canadian Croatian Croatian Canadian yeah I do <laughs> it's a replica livery of all right McCroy says wonderful race best friends ferret likes Slingshot's replicate, replica, replicate. Wow, too much Blade Runner. Replica, livery. Wow, entirely too much Blade Runner in my brain. In my brain. All right, while these guys uh, get situated for the possibly the next race, I need to start in on my dinner. Almost said lunch. Right along with uh, I think this is Croat. Yeah, this uh, livery reminds ferrets of a popular poutine, poutine shop. All right, salad time. I shall return in just a moment.
what's the name of the shop, Ferrets? Love it. Smokes poutine. It's either you can use it. I know there's an apostrophe, but remove the apostrophe. It's like, yeah, I smoke poutine, man. Good stuff. But we know that's not what it is. Smoke is poutine. If we take that uh, apostrophe to mean is, smoke has poutine. We can do all kinds of wonderful things with that. Laser is in the uh, diabetes machine. I think the Twix and Snickers and all kinds of stuff on the side of that. Uh, decals plastered all over that. We have uh, Panda Oreos, Twix. Yep, we sell the Twix there. And I can't make out anything else. Monster Energy Drink logo. Hey, Devlin. I believe we're about to get a message from Laser uh, describing the, or listing, oh, there goes uh, the airship, uh, the items on the vehicle. Oh, no, 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 he's gone. I got Hello Panda on the front. Nerds. Twix. Oreos. I can't make out uh, what's quite on the door there. Uh, well, now he's really, really close. Reese's. Reese's Pieces, Nerds, Oreos, Twix, uh, Snickers, Starburst, Fancy Coffee Club, Monster. There goes the crow at Zoom. I can't make it that one that's uh, on that right fender. I can't make out the one that's sitting behind Oreo either and above Nerds. I can't move the camera.
And just looking at it should give you diabetes, I'm sure. as if Car JP is going for the uh, for the cheat car, I believe. I think that's it. It's either that or the other one. That's a really good here. All righty. Slingshot, are you ready? from Slingshot, Microat, and Laser. Yeah, he's gonna struggle here with that. It's fast. It's just very difficult to uh, keep from uh, oversteering. Slingshot is carrying out maintenance on his vehicle. He says, just a minute. Laser is back out on the circuit. Yeah, the overseer is absolutely ridiculous in that car. Having a healthy cigarette? I see. <laughs> a healthy cigarette. All right, we have Mikroat dispensing with advice to Hikaru JPN in the form of hards up front. Simultaneously suffocating him with the noxious fumes pouring out of that rear of that car. The, the fire dude not even phased. They're probably built to death by now. The photographer's just like, what? I can't hear you, what? Permanent ear damage. Good job, Mikroat. Good job. Alright, let's watch car JPN struggle with this car. See how many laps it takes for him to get it under control. Oh. Oh, 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 that's not under control. That's not under control. I have laser. He saw the, uh, the power of the Porsche in the previous event. He said, hey, I, I like me. I like some of that action. I'm going to get me some of that. Now I've got just the livery. Drop, well, he's not going to put sugar in the tank, that's for sure. That would end in disaster. Whew. Am I right? All right. Uh, JPN has opted for the McLaren, I believe. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. Uh, slingshot is an F40. That is definitely an F40. If you have any doubts, just it, it says it. It's written in big, bold letters, black, on the white background. F40. FF40. With a 40 on the side saying this is car 40, but huh, there's an F, just use your imagination. Ferrari 40, see? The F from Ferrari lines up with the 40. He's once again trying to alert you with that big black dot with the white letters in the foreground of 40, followed by the word Ferrari. Ferrari F40. Just in case you. You were unsure. Laser just says, have some sugar. Oh, oh. Laser's uh, putting on the show. People in grandstand loving the donuts. A sugary machine producing donuts. It's a win-win for everyone. Get your donuts here. Get your donuts here. McCroy's out. Oh, oh, McCroy's a little bit jealous. He's like, oh, I want me some of that action. He turns around to go join Laser. Obviously, that's what's happening here, right? Let me show you how it's done, son. It's like, oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, and the crowd loves it. He fishtails. Oh, he's onto the grass. This, oh, he damages that car. This is quality fan service, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you listening over the radio waves are missing out. Diabetes for everyone. Yeah, I, I need some friends. All right. There it is, McCrub. Fantastic fan service. That's what I like to see on the track. And through the magic, oh, and then Slingshot wants in on the fun. The fans are eating it up. There we go. We have an Alpha, a Ferrari, and a McLaren putting on the show for the spectator. There we go, all three in one shot. Oh, there's contact with the wall. The slingshot's reset. Uh, the, the guy man in the flag is like, what? Do I, do I wave it now? He looks to his left like, when do I, when do I wave the flag? N not now? So I just say, what? what he's really confused. All right, it appears as if they are ready. That might be the signal that they are indeed ready to race. I'm, I'm gonna take that as such. All right, we are starting the next, next event. There they go. Oh, physics. Laws of physics being taunted there as laser phases through, I believe, whoever's driving the F40 slingshot. There's a Thomas Dolby song on the airwaves or something like that. All right, gonna push the button. Wait for the game to drop me in. You ready to drop me in? You ready? You ready? You ready? And there we go. Car JP and sits on pole in the McLaren. Slingshot in second. Uh, laser in third. McCurry starting from the back as he was our previous winner. And there they go. Rolling start. Rolling start. There they go down the hill. They turn left. Avoid the wall, tight little kink to the right there. They are off. Got our JPN, once he gets out in front, it's pretty much all over. But with this view, oh, he moves to the side. Hmm, interesting. Croat, happy to take third. Got our JPN runs wide on turn one up the hill. White McLaren versus White Alpha. They're side by side. Slingshot. Oh no. Laser. Loses the back end of that Porsche. Finds himself crashing into the wall. Spilling all his little sweets and candies all over himself. All through the car. There are nerves everywhere. Reese's Pieces cups. Ugh. What a mess. Slingshot's thinking, sweet. I can just get this right a turn. There they go. F40 of Slingshot, only a half a second ahead of McCroat. McCroat leading Car JPN, Car JPN. Oh, both Car JPN and McCroat wide. At the top of the hill, as they turn left, they slide out into the gravel before they reach the banked right hander. Slingshot leads half a second. We hear Laser trying to rejoin the freight into the hairpin. Really wide goes uh, Slingshot in that F40, affording Mikroat. I, you know, I can't remember because they keep switching cars. I get confused. Mikroat in the 4C. He's forking it up. Oh, there's almost contact between the two. Slingshot holds the inside but he'll be disadvantaged on exit as he can block McCroat, and he does. No, he runs wide. There's contact on exit. Slingshot leads by a tenth across the line. Car JPN robs McCroat. Still second place. McCroat says, no, sir. Down the inside of turn one. Reclaims second place. Demotes Car JPN to third. Meanwhile, Laser is trying to catch up. Car JPN down the inside of this fast left-hander before they uh, go to the first hairpin or the second hairpin on the circuit. You hear those squealing tires. Car JPN can't quite hold that line. 
Makura tries to take advantage of it, but Hikaru JPN blocks effectively, putting that McLaren right smack dab in the front of the Alpha 4C of Makroa. Remember, folks, even though this is a sprint, fuel is a factor. Hikaru JPN can't get it right again. Makura down the inside. Hikaru JPN goes wide, holds it. They go through that really weird left-hander, downhill left-hander, which wants to throw you far into the right, into the barrier. Right is holding on to second by a tenth, maybe two. Hikaru JPN has the inside on the bank right-hander, but he's going to be disadvantaged on exit. Makura has the inside line. Slingshot is watching all this from his rearview mirror, thinking, yeah, cut each other up, boys. Ah, he's got... Slingshot gets that F40 stopped. He's flanked on each side, almost flanked on each side by McCroad on the left and Hikaru JPN on the right. But he manages... Oh, no. Oh, no. Both laser and slingshot into the wall or into the barrier, on the grass, into the barrier before they crest as they were climbing up the hill. This hands first place to Hikaru JPN. Normally, I would say Hikaru JPN would... Um, would, bolt, would uh, fire himself away like a, a rocket, but it looks as if he's struggling to maintain control of that McLaren, so we'll see how it goes. You know, McCroyd is no slouch. He'll put the pressure on. Laser, three seconds finding car JP in, seems to have uh, gained control over that Porsche. You know how much that rear wants to step out. Slingshot's got to do it all over again. He's only a mere 5.5 seconds behind the leader and 1.9 seconds behind Laser. I am unsure of the, uh, the fuel burn of the F40. I'm assuming it's got to be dreadful. Well, it could be good. I don't know. I'm not going to talk out of my behind. We'll see. The race will tell. Car JPN almost two seconds ahead now. The Croat either saving fuel or... I'm going to be saving fuel. We'll see how it goes. Oh, here comes the battle between Slingshot, who led at least the first lap and a half, two laps. Not really sure. He is now attempting to uh, place himself on the podium. Left hand, a uh, right hand banked, sweeping bank. They straighten out, they crest, they drop, turn left. Car wants to push a bit to the right. We hear that is the sound of that F40 da, 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 da. being downshifted aggressively, I believe. Oh, Slingshot's going to have a look up the hill through the left hand, but he changes his mind. Laser now two seconds behind, behind the car, JPN. The Croat a second behind. 1.6 seconds behind the car, JPN. RJP will not be escaping today. Oh, he gets it wrong. Almost touches the wall. Loses the rear end. That allows Mikroa to close up the gap down to 1.2. Both slingshot and laser into the pits early. That F40 taking on fuel. Thirsty, possibly. Definitely. Laser, I think, had a little more fuel. Laser's out. Like a flash. With three, point, uh, three, minutes, three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Seven Almost seven minutes uh, have elapsed. Slingshot had a very long pit stop. Let's see which of these two strategies uh, results in the in one driver finishing in front of the other. The Croat Hikar JPN definitely have to pit. I think they're they're both playing the coasting game. That force he sounds as if it's really like in a high gear, trying to uh, either in a high gear or fuel consumption. Just super, super, super duper lean. A little less than the second now separates Car JPN from Mikroat. And Car JPN. A, commentator's curse. B, he's been struggling the entire race with that McLaren. And finally, it bites him. Throws him into the wall off the circuit, into the wall, and hands first place to McCroat. It sounds as if he's being very cautious. Meanwhile, Slingshot is built up. Oh! Slingshot is still, sorry. 
Laser sits five and a half seconds ahead of Slingshot. Slingshot, probably on a full fuel load. Oh, he barely gets that F40 stop for the, what, the one, two, three, that was like five hairpins, a fourth or fifth hairpin on the track. Up the hill he goes, under the sign, crest, he dives down for the final, what, two turns? Breaks, that's a kink. Turns to the right. Followed almost immediately down here by a left, which if you're not careful, pushes you into the barrier. He misses it with that barely by inches, millimeters. He's rewarded by cheers from the uh, spectators in the grandstand. Meanwhile, we're probably looking at the final lap. Laser gaining? On Ikaro JPN, Ikaro JPN gaining on McCroat, possibly. That 4C, I don't think, have either of them pitted? I, I don't remember. Oh, McCroat struggling on the final lap to keep control of that 4C. Meanwhile, Laser closing the gap on the final lap. Down to two seconds now. Slingshot. Wanting to get in the picture. Would love to stand on a podium for sure. We hear some squealing. Oh, he caught a JP and gets that turn wrong again. Ends up pushing super wide onto the gravel. And that is the opening that Laser was waiting for. He pushes, Laser pushes up wide, gonna get that late apex. Car JP in the front of that car. Oh, there's contact because Car JP cannot control that McLaren. He ends up in front of a uh, uh, laser in the Porsche. There's contact. Laser loses his momentum. Car JPN trying to get the McLaren turned in. Car JPN struggling. Laser, oh, a gentleman is. That is a very gentlemanly display there. Sportsmanship from Car JPN, who knew Laser had the move. Steps aside, gives a position to Laser. Outstanding sportsmanship from Ikaro JP in here on the final lap. Laser looking to throw it all away. Cannot get that Porsche turned in. Oh, Ikaro JP is struggling also in the final turn. Laser comes across in second. McCruat in first. And Ikaro JP in, in third. He coasts across the start finish line. Slingshot seven seconds behind. Possibly out of fuel again. But this time only 15 seconds behind the leader as opposed to the 30 seconds from the previous event. That's <laughs> a traitor. <laughs> oh. Clean race, victory for McCroat. Oh, and then the lobby goes crazy. We hear the crashing. All right. Let's see if they uh if there are any car changes while we wait. I need to consume my soup, so I will mute myself. We will go into spectator mode, and when laser decides to uh run a few laps, we will have that on screen. But I need to eat soup. And I know you guys don't want to hear me eat soup, so I'm going to mute myself. And we have another F40. Oh McCray goes from the F40. Boo, if we can get that into the uh, the channel there. Cast an exclamation mark followed by the word boo with up to seven O's afterward. Type in McCroat's name. And we will affect we will boo him for that default victory. For shame. Yeah, you did. You did, Slingshot. I I, I sort of saw that coming. But it made for a good race.
right. You may have noticed that there is no fuel telemetry on screen. That is to hide the uh, fuel consumption of each of these vehicles from the drivers. As they are here in the chat and can easily see their uh, identify and plan for their opponent's weaknesses. So to keep it a pure mystery, even to us here in the uh, in the spectators booth, in the grandstand, we will not have fuel telemetry. It's a mystery. And our JPN with his stat with his uh, his team's livery in that Ferrari. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Now there's a laser. I'm not sure if that's the default red of that Mustang. So we're going to give him a pass until someone dobs him in. What yourself, Dark Knight? The morning treating you well? rumble of that Ford Mustang as he climbs up the hill and plunges down, he crests, he plunges down into the hollow which leads to the start finish line. There's a kink to the left, a hard right, you're breaking turn right. So easy to lose the car and smash into the barrier on the left. Left hand and pushing you wide. He makes it through in one piece. Just waking up. Well, good morning to you, young man. from McCroat as the fastest lap. We don't know what the gap is yet. We have no times posted. Let's see, Car J is on another out lap. Laser cruising. That beautiful Ford Mustang. Boom. Other Ferrari. Oman 117711, thank you for the PSN follow. Gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready, gentlemen? We will start the third race of the evening.
Hikaru, Hikaru hitting us with an R for ready. Displayed incredible sportsmanship. To be applauded. All right. Oh, wait, we have a message coming from Mikroat. We get a firm ready R from Hikaru JP and a little tiny like ready from Mikroat. Laser, um, sadly, they're only capitalized, you know, they have caps or lowercase. Uh, laser, are you ready? The man with two R's in his name. Let's see what, uh, wait, we wait for Laser to speak. Here comes the message. The message reads. Ready! There we go. That's what I like to see. Some enthusiasm. Ladies and gentlemen, this will most likely be the final race of the evening. Sit down, enjoy 10 minutes of tense mystery racing as the fuel consumption is quite high. The boost is on strong. And no one has any idea of the other's... Uh, fuel consumption rate or strategy so here we wait I'm going to push the button wait for the game to drop us in my soup is probably going to get cold but that's fine that's fine Crest off from third he, I believe he's won two races in a row he is two for two I think for the evening got a JP uh, winking winking at the crowd it's, hey hey Says the F40. What's up? What's your name? Right? Flirting with the crowd. Flirting with that Mustang. Hey, Mustang. All right, Carl JPN already has a lead. And they are off. This is a fantastic shot. Oh, God, I love it. I just want a video game where I can make, like, beautiful races. I don't care if I'm driving or not. Just beautiful camera angles. Ah, someone make that game for me, please. All right, up the hill we go. Lap one. We have two Ferraris versus a Mustang. They are, uh, the Ferraris are already pushing and shoving. Mikroat, Carl JP in. Total disregard for the fuel settings. Challenging each other in turn with three or four, like one, two, three, four, five. There are five hairpins, you guys. Literally, there are five. One, two, three, four, five. There are five hairpins. Ridiculous. Oh, Mikrod goes wide through a not a hairpin turn, which leads to a hairpin. It's more like a, a broken bobby pin, right? The RJPN again struggling through here. They crest, they sort of go up and down. There is a long right hand banked section here. You've got to get a really late apex through there. McCroat just rocketing away from Mikado JPN. He is definitely asking uh, a few questions of Mikado JPN. One being, bruh, can you even keep up? Two, how much fuel you got in the tank? Oh no, but he overcooks it. Oh, he puts himself into the wall. Commentator's curse strikes again. Curse for Mikroat. A blessing for Ricard JPN, who's thinking, thanks. All right, laser. Surprised to see, uh, McCroat in front of him is like, what, what are you doing here? What? What? I, I love how Laser says what? 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 Look, I love it. I love it just as much as uh, Silver's. No. No. I love Silver's no when he dies in video games. Dark Souls particularly. Ah, the joy. The joy it brought me. All right, we have got a JP in, in the lead. McCroat looking to uh, reel in. We've got a JP in. Ferrari versus Ferrari. And it looks as if he's done it. Meanwhile, Laser's just cruising along. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Being cautious, being clever. 
calculating possibly. He's got his little slide rule out here. And multiply by two, divide by four. Uh, meanwhile, these two, I don't think they care. They don't care. They're obviously just like fuel consumption. Ha! They are flat out racing. McCroy regains first in the long right hand bank turn. Thank God there's no tire whip because that would destroy the left hand side of that car, the, the rubber in the left hand side of that car. Oh, McCroy! Half on the surface, half on the gravel. Oh, down the inside goes Car JPM. Beautiful pass. Down the inside. It sticks, McCroyad seeing it coming, gives the car JP an ample space. Great racing between these two. That was some quality racing. Oh, he got a JPN though. He blows it. Oh no! McCroyad takes advantage of the mistake of he got a JPN. And we're back to 1 2. McCroyad got a JPN. That's maybe what, two or three uh, lead changes in one lap? The crowd. Oh, McCroyad again pushing too hard. Half on, half off the circuit. Still leads Car JPM by almost a second now. Surely at the five minute mark, fuel has got to be dodgy for both these guys. Is Car JPM dropping behind? It looks as if fuel is now an issue for Car JPM. He is dropping like a rock. 1.7 seconds. Going to be two seconds here soon. He pushes too hard. Croat. Rocketing away. Got JPM possibly trying to hold on. We'll see. Laser eight seconds behind. Just coasting along in that Mustang. Got JPN. Oh, again. Loses control of that. Uh, was that 458? 458. Oh, the crowd pushing too hard through that left hander that, uh, sort of tightens up and dips midway through right before the uh, the long banked right hand turn he gets it clips it right at the end there the curb turns it in beautifully car JPN looking good too nice and tidy the, the two of them still one and a half seconds separate the two uh, car JPN gets it wrong under braking heading into the hairpin Flings the car to the left. Looks like the same action you would see at Laguna Seca at the corkscrew. Braking too heavily. Car pointed in the wrong direction. He now has McCroy at a three second lead. At a crucial point in the race. Overdrives. Puts the car half on the circuit. Half in the grass and dirt. Manages to keep the car pointed in the correct direction. Laser. McCroy into the pit lane. Car JPN dives in the pit lane directly behind McCroat. Laser, coasting, looking good, very quiet. That must be awfully quiet. Laser does not pit at the three minute mark. Let's see how this goes for him. He comes out almost directly behind uh, McCroat and Car JPN. Car JPN, second into pit lane, first out of pit lane. The game is on, ladies and gentlemen. There are three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. We're almost at seven minutes elapsed in this 10-minute sprint enduro, enduro fuel consumption, don't overburn event. Got JPN wide again, desperately trying to get away from the Croat. The slipstream is set to real. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's a, a lot of slipstream. I have no idea. Never quite understand what the difference between real, low, and the other, whatever the other option is. But there we have it. Side by side. Oh, they're side by side. They're pushing, they're shoving. A little bit of NASCAR. They give each other space through the left-hander. They bump, they drop down, they head into that, into the right-hand uh, bank turn. Side by side, they give each other space. Quality racing. Oh, they come together slightly because there's only not one line, but oh, 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 we got a JPN wide. I believe McCroat waits up for he got a JPN so they can continue the fun. Yes, he does. All right, they're back at it. Got JPN has caught up. And they 
push up the hill. We see Laser only 2.6, 2.7 seconds behind. Oh, there's only one way through there. There was only, there was only one line through there. Crab barely ahead of the kind of JPN. Oh, we got JPN pushing that car to the limits. There is one lap remaining. This is the final lap, and Laser has to pit. Now we have a shootout between McCroat and he got a JPN on the final lap. One minute and 33 seconds. The question is, have they pushed too hard? Will they be forced to lean, to run a lean uh, fuel map toward the end of the race? Oh no, McCroat can't get that Ferrari to turn in properly. Or right, it steps out, uh, the rear steps out. Kind of JPN sees that he himself is struggling in that Ferrari 458. I think that's I'm pretty sure that's a 458. Oh no, he caught a JPN wide onto the grass, plays golf. He's lost out valuable time. He struggles with this turn. Fry pushes a bit wide under with a bit of understeer. Kind of JPN just can't reel in the Croat. Previous lap there was contact. Will McCroat have enough fuel to take him across the finish line at full speed? He breaks hard, gets that red default livery for our F40, stopped and turned in at the final hairpin. Is that the final hairpin? That is the final hairpin. He climbs up the hill. Car JPN again into the grass, looking for a four leaf clover. There are no four leaf clovers to be found. The Croat. Right, left, he has to avoid that dip, avoid the wall. He is going to come across the line three for three this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and he crosses sideways. <laughs> Two seconds, Eddie Carr, JPN. Laser miscalculates, has to fuel right on the final, right before the final lap. There he is again, I believe it's three for three. Our favorite Croatian Canadian, but everyone default livery boo. Croat, default livery boo in the chat, please. Let me finish up my, my soup before he gets cold. Hey, Vegeta. That was definitely some solid racing from you guys, for sure. Make sure you save that replay. All right, Kaz is here, Mikroat, Carl JPN. Again, fast boys. That was some good racing, you guys. Vegeta, will you be joining the final race of the evening? consumed my soup negative ghost rider you have to work all right coffee club in the house there he is two five eleven wow uh 
a tin 511 see brain broken a tkfpsx lol hello <laughs> definitely blame the croat all right tar hill is on the way so this will be the final race of the evening ladies and gentlemen tar hill get your butt in here croat car jp and kaz Tar Hill should make for some interesting rate. Kaz, of course, of course, Kaz, of course. I believe he's gonna try to get some drift action. Yeah, he is. Beautiful livery. Beautiful livery wrapped up. I don't even know what he's driving. What is he driving? Is it that, um, is it, is that the Emmanuel? What? That's what that probably is, right? Tuned up a bit. Or uh, wrapped in that beautiful livery. Yeah, that's it sounds like the Amamia. Tearing up the uh, the circuit there, drifting as much as he can. Probably by far his favorite uh, activity is drifting. Oh, he gets it wrong there. That smash here, ladies and gentlemen, is at the bottom of the hill, leading into the final two bins. As Kaz, as Kaz just slams into the that steel barrier. My yogurt. McCraw gonna stick with the uh, returning to the four C car JPN. I don't even know what that is. That's the uh, I don't even know what that is. I need to go read actually and see what that is. That is the LC five hundred. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Do I know cars? No. Do I love Gran Turismo Sport? Yeah. Do I know anything about tuning? No. Love racing? Yeah. Love watching my friends race? Definitely. Is that a Lexus? Oh, it looks like a, a Lexus. Alright, it must be a Lexus. Okay. Alright. So, here we have car JPN in a different vehicle attempting to dethrone Mikrod, who is three for three this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Three for three. Oh, Tar Heel in the Toyota S-FR. That's a good car. That's a, a cute little car. He brings it. Oh, oh. Turns in a bit too sharply there. Kaz is now out of the amendment into the Mercedes. Kaz, Kaz is a Mercedes junkie. He loves Mercedes. He drives a Mercedes. He has a remote control car that is a Mercedes. Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. Ah, but I knew him when he loved BMW. Alright, we're gonna give uh, Tar Hill a chance to run one more lap. He gets an out lap. Oh, he's struggling there. So, I, lo I love this comment. Uh, I'm assuming someone was discussing the uh, the update. But as long as uh, PD don't fix it in a similar manner as the previous two times. Yeah, coding is hard. It must be ridiculously stressful. Tar Hill, all right, he's, gonna, he's on his flying lap looking at his fuel consumption. We'll check back in with him in just a moment. Kaz, meanwhile... I think Kaz is more concerned about, does it drift? 
I think that's his major concern. Does it blend? No. Does it go fast? No. Does it drift? That's all he wants to know. The Croat looking good. He got a JPN. Oh, oh, what's that sound? Okay, all right, he's not out of fuel. It's just a rumbly kind of car. I see. Oh, Kaz not happy with the with the Mercedes. Tar Hill looking good. Windows are mighty tinted. Hope you can see what's happening in front of them. But does it drift? Exactly, 10 5 11. But does it drift? Nice lines on that car, bro. Yeah, but does it drift? I think McCrod unintentionally got, had a little drift action. Oh, oh. He's going big. He's going loud. Dear Lord. There he goes. Ugh. Okay, now I think he's happy. Yeah, I think this is gonna, gonna put a big old smile on his face. See if he can get that rear to spin up. And the Croat sitting in, on pit lane. Slathering on the, uh, what's it called? Laser? What kind of battle lotion? Bacon bit? What's... Dang it, I forgot what... What's the battle lotion? What's the full name of the battle lotion? It ain't all that swift. If it don't... If it ain't got that drift. What happens if a broken building system gets updated and now becomes a broken, broken building system? Well, I think you sort of... It's like a... You just sort of loop around. And broken... Times broken equals fixed. Alright, Kaz. I, I think he's more concerned about what he can do with the car than fuel consumption. So, we're, we're not going to worry about him. We're going to worry about Tar Hill and see what, he, what he's doing here. Possibly has the car under control. Do two brokens make a right? I, I think so. Proper to what your parents told you. Two wrongs don't make a right? I, I believe that two brokens make a right. Oh, all right. Hopefully, Tar Hill is ready. Tar Hill, are you ready? Gentlemen, I'm gonna have to start the race soon. Excellent. It is now 11:30. Sorry, Carlo JP. We're gonna start soon. Good luck. This tire change. Fuel up. Let him exit pit lane. All right. We're gonna start this race, the final race of the evening. Maple syrup. That's it. All right. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. The final has begun. The screen has gone black. The spectate button is now active. The game is saying, wait, whoa, 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 where's your ticket, iMorph? And I hold up my press pass and say, oh, go right in, sir. See, see how that works? Hey, hey McCroat, hi, hi. Everyone wave at McCroat, he's winking at us, hi. Well, not winking, he's blinking. Because his car doesn't know how to wink. Car JP is like, oh, look, look, safety first. He's got his, uh, his hazards on. Tar Heel patiently waiting for the race to begin. Just realize that they don't have the interior view on the... Oh, really? Blames McCrudd for winking. Blinking instead of winking. All right, here we go. Tario starting off in first. Kaz. Putting it on, putting the power down. Let's see if he decides to drift through turn one. He does not. He takes a very normal line. Shocking. There he goes up the hill. McCrudd and the car JP in already. Picking up where they left off, battling each other. Wipers on for safety. McCrud already challenging Kaz through the first, uh, second hairpin. I don't know. There's just they're all hairpins. I don't know, man. 
Anyway. Pardon me. Oh, McCrite runs wide, holds it. Manages to uh, stay ahead of Kaz. Kaz overdriving that big old Merc. I think both uh, Kaz and Hikaru JPN are driving uh, rather beefy, heavy vehicles. We'll see how that plays out for the two of them. They're side, almost side by side. Nose to tail. These two have battled it out for months. Through the big sweeping bank turn. Yeah, it's like a snake. It's like a riding a snake as it goes up and down, right? Or side to side. Like a roller coaster. Um, oh, Cass gets it wrong. Car JPN sees the mistake coming. Breaks to avoid contact. Tar Heel loses first. The physics challenge. Oh, my brain. My brain. They all make it up the hill. The undulation of this track, yes. Down the hill they plummet. Tar Heel trying to get ahead of Kaz. He makes it. Our JPN fighting with that Lexus. It's going to be a long race for him. Kaz in front of Car JPN chasing Tar Heel. Tar Heel in that little um, slippery slidey Toyota S-FR. Meanwhile, McCroat is checking out. You guys are in trouble. You guys are definitely in trouble because McCroat is Looking back in his mirror going, see ya, suckers. We hear some squealing. Kaz almost drifting through that, through that uh, hairpin. Hairpin number one of two. <laughs> we're going to see some craft, yeah, craft dinner at the, uh, the finish line. Some mac and cheese, maybe. Car JPN is either playing it very smart or is just struggling with that Lexus. It looks as if both Kaz and Car JPN working hard to keep their uh, their vehicles on the track. Car JPN waiting for an opening to get around uh, Kaz. Kaz overdriving every turn. Look at that. The back of the car steps out again. He runs it a bit wide. Car JPN cautious. Oh, oh they're side by side. Coming up to the final hairpin, and it's tight. You've got to break. Oh, Kaz is out of control. You got JPN pushing, helping Kaz along. Is he going to go for a move up the hill? Is he lining him up for a pass? No. No, if he caught JPN is smart, he'll just keep pressuring Kaz. You know, Kaz commits a huge error, and he will just be able to walk into third place. But they are both dealing with some very non... Oh, there's the opportunity. Kaz gets it wrong. Car JPN lining up for the inside on exit. Outside. Inside. Side by side. He's in the wrong position. He's right on Kaz's tail. We'll be able to get down on the inside. Oh, he takes a peek. He almost gets it. But that Lexus turns against him. It does not give him that uh, inside line. He pushes wide. Finds himself behind Kaz for another lap. We're almost at the five minute mark. 30 sec 25 seconds, five minutes, we'll have elapsed. Tar Hill, two seconds ahead of Kaz. Kaz, 1.2 seconds ahead of Car JPN. I think Car JPN is regretting his choice of vehicles. The Croat, how oh, that, that lead is very slowly being raised by Tar Heel and the strong boost. Two seconds. Ah, 1.8 seconds now between Tar Heel and Kaz. Kind of JPN still in it. He has picked some very difficult cars to drive this evening. Challenging himself on this roller coaster of a circuit. JPN, desperate to win one tonight. The question is, will McCraw make it four for four in one evening? Tar Hill looking to unseat 
dethrone, become the true heir to the throne. Nope, 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 not with driving like that. He has McCrow at what, fourth, maybe three or four tenths? Yep. Meanwhile, Kaz are gonna JP in. Oh, they're battling. Kaz really defending his line. You got JP in pushing. Oh, they're pushing so hard. They're so close. Mikroyd has to pit. Oh, both. You got JP and everyone pits on the same lap with 3 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Oh, no. You got JP and change his tires. That had to be a mistake. Who's out of pit lane first? Mikroyd gone like a rocket. You got JP in. How did he end up out in front of Kaz? I do not know. Hikaru JP ends up in front of Kaz. This is a unexpected twist. Plot twist. Hikaru JP in. Sandbagging? Possibly. Definite plot twist, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how we changed tires and ended up out ahead of uh, Kaz, but that seemed to work out. Maybe Bug? I don't know what happened there. Kaz finds himself behind Tar Hill with 2 minutes and 46 seconds. We're looking at this lap and one more lap before the race ends. Kaz has to work his way around Tar Hill in that little squirrely Toyota. Oh, we caught JP in wide overdrives on the outlap. Oh no! He does a very defensive move. We saw him cut across the circuit, blocks Kaz. Hopefully, there was no contact between the two. Tar Hill inherits second. Kaz is going to go to work on the JP in. This is going to allow Tar Hill probably to uh, sneak away. Oh, that was a heavy, heavy uh, breaking for Ricardo JP in. Oh, he closes off the inside line, drives, overdrives it. Oh, straight into the end of the barrier. He is done. Oh, that's it for Ricardo JP in. He checks out. So a podium for everyone involved. Ricardo JP is like, I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate. He hands third place to probably Kaz. Here we are starting the final that McCruat will walk away if he's if he's cautious, but Tar Heel is coming on strong. Very fast here on the final lap. It does it did look like as if uh Hikaru JPN's car was crying. And it's definitely crying now after it smashes its nose into the wall. Tar Hill looking mighty close to uh, beating Mikura to the final uh, in front of... Oh, I had a sentence and I blew it. All right, sentence gone. Let's try this again. Uh, Tar Hill might catch Mikura there. Sorry. Sucky sentences. Sucky. 45 seconds remaining. This will be the final lap. Mikura 1.1, 1.2 seconds ahead. He's got to be careful through this. His left hand... Bobby pin chicane or a hairpin. The big looping hairpin through the through the uh, bank turn there. Right, he almost runs it too wide, gets it turned in. Kaz getting in. Only two seconds separate Kaz from the Croat. The Croat 1.3 seconds ahead. Kaz is reeling in. Tar Hill, Tar Hill is going to be in trouble here. The Croat also in trouble. Here come both Tar Heel and Kaz up the hill. He's got to get it right. Tar Heel pushing hard, half eight tenths of a second behind. Seven tenths, six tenths, one two turns remaining. McCrowd under pressure. Four tenths, six tenths. They're coming to the start finish line. McCrowd four for four. Incredible dominance. McCrory dominates the seas, uh, the uh, the evening with four four wins back to back to back to back. Oh my god! Wow.
Wow, Microad dominates the evening. Unfortunately, Tar Heel changed tires, ruining. Microad blames Microad for winning. Gentlemen, save your replay if, if you want. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. That was some serious racing, guys. That was outstanding. Color JPN, um, your crew at that previous race. Excellent. Excellent racing. I really enjoyed that. I hope you had fun, Kaz. Dark Knight blames Mikroet for Mikroet being the new Hikaru. For sure, I, I guarantee you guys, you know what he's trying to do, right? He's trying to get in the last few. Uh, oh, there he is in his favorite car. There he goes. All right, we'll, we'll uh, give him a, a lap to get his drift on. There he is. Cass, do you want me to change the, uh, the tire settings? Do you need comfort, soft, or something like that? I, I think he's happy enough. I think he's good. I hope he's smoking a cigarette and doing this. I can see him smoking and trying to, to drift while playing Grand Transmos War. Brings a smile to my face. There he goes. Oh, more of a out of control slide. Oh, he holds it. Man, just to uh, keep the rear from wrapping totally around. Oh, I can't quite get it. There he is. Crosses the line. That would be it, ladies and gentlemen. Think. I, I think if we, if we could just leave him here, we could just leave him here. He'd stay here all night. There he is. All right, some fan service there. Excellent. Donuts for the fans. We will call it there. Thank you, Kaz. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, that is it. Bye, Kaz. Oh, oh, he backs it up, smokes it, smokes him in reverse. Peels out. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Fish tailing all the way. Excellent. What a gentleman. Fan service for us all. Hey, Trollar. All right, that's it. We're done. I'm going to call it an evening. Let's head over to the circuit or the sector challenge. People are definitely in the top 10. Garage Beers, 508. So let's just see who's in the top 10. We have Garage Beers, Bikret, PR1, Fire, Binary Theory. So one official members, one, two, three. We've got three official members. Yep, Sector 3. We've got three official members in the top 10 on a Tuesday. Wrong button again. Laser is... Havoc and Laser are working hard to uh, join the guys up there in the top 10. If Binary is not careful, Havoc is going to... Uh, to replace... Uh, oh, come on, Brain. <sighs> B 
Be careful, Binary. Havoc's coming, as is Laser. All right, Ellie Detroit needs to uh, get a tenth off before he becomes a major, major threat. Oh, no, a tenth off will uh, put him in the top ten. Right, 548. Yep. Knight Rider, not far off. I think a tenth will uh, put him in the top ten. Vegeta. Uh, AARP. I'm not really sure who. AARP, if you're here, hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you've actually spoken. But yeah, thanks for following. We followed each other. Welcome. Uh, me. Lunatic Punk from the GT. GTS RL uh, Racing League. 10, 5, 11. Close to the 20s, getting down into the 20s. American Association of Retired Persons Racing. That's exactly what it is. Why can't you guys use the quote? I, I have to do the quote thing. We're quoting that. Sorry, hold on. That's brilliant. Uh, sorry, I've got to reach around stuff. It's going to take a second. Hold on. Oh, I lost the question mark. Dang it. Oh, well. It stays that way. There we go. All right, 10, 5, 11. You just got it a little bit before you're down into the uh, the 20s. Snow Laxative is getting close again. Uh, I think we'll skip that one. UDC crew. Slingshot. There you are. 21, 487. And I believe everyone from here down... Are not actively participating. Kevin's here. Okay, so Tuesday, three people up in the top ten. Oh, oh, Tar Heel has uh, set the time. We'll back out just a moment. Hopefully it refreshed. Tar Hill directly behind me. Thanks, Tar Hill. Wonderful. <laughs> Just what I need. More pressure. All right, so Tar Hill comes wild with a 20.910. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks. Your third try. Just rub it in. Go ahead. Here, here's that wound. Let's get that salt. All right. We will be back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Heads up. More than likely, I will stream on Thursday. Friday, probably not. My Friday evening, your Friday morning. So Thursday, there will more than likely be a stream. Friday evening, Gran Turismo Sport will take a break, which means I'm taking a break. That's what that really means. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because Saturday, Nations, and then Sunday, Manufacturer. Is that right? Either way, Friday, I'm 99.9999% sure I will not be here. Thursday, I will be here. Day after tomorrow. Oh, you have advice? I I would love to, but it's almost midnight here. And 
my lovely wife would like to go to bed. <laughs> and since everything, my whole setup is uh, smack dab in the middle of the sort of like where everything happens in the house, I've got to move. We will check out. You go, okay, yes, please. I'll take the advice though. Go fast. I bet it's go fast. Does it go fast? Nice slingshot. Nine nine five. All right. While McCraw begins to uh, type up his sage advice, everyone get your pen, your pad, your recording devices ready. Tomorrow, I believe, is uh, an update server maintenance. Hooray! All right, don't drink your drive, though. Text and drive. Don't drive for drowsy, and that's it. I am done. Let's check out this advice. Break before the 100 by about a car length. Feel it out, turn and as close as you can to the barrels. And first, stay on the brakes. Don't let off. Pass the second apex barrels as close as you can again. Then slowly power out. Okay, excellent. Everyone get that? It's <laughs> like brake balance, brake balance. All right, I am done, everyone. That was we missed BT. Finally, here we one. Uh, forward or backward. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I am out.